Hi everyone, it's Kai here. Are you ready to explore? Great! Today, we're going to explore the story of Pentecost found in the book of Acts chapter 2. Remember, great explorers are great listeners. Let's clip on our listening ears. Click! Great job! Watch your leader closely as I tell the story. I wonder what you'll discover. Here we go! After Jesus' death and resurrection, Jesus spent some time with his disciples. He wanted to give his disciples a gift. I wonder what it was. Jesus told them about the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit would lead and guide them. They would not be alone. With the Holy Spirit, the disciples would have the power to do great things for him and others. After speaking of this promise, it was time for Jesus to say goodbye. He hugged his disciples and went back to heaven. The disciples were waiting together in a big room when they heard a sound. It sounded like a big windstorm blowing inside the house. I wonder if everyone could hear the wind. All of a sudden, what looked like flames of fire appeared above each disciple. This showed that they had received the Holy Spirit. Then the disciples began to speak in different languages. The disciples rushed into the streets and spoke to a crowd of people. Each disciple talked to other people in their own language. I wonder what languages were spoken. The crowd was confused. They couldn't understand what was happening. The people began to talk about the disciples. Peter stepped forward and quieted the crowd. He told them that this was the work of the Holy Spirit. He began to teach them about the promises of God. Peter celebrated how God's words had come true. He explained how anyone who chose to follow Jesus would be saved. The crowd wanted to know more about Jesus. I wonder what you would share about Jesus. Peter shared how Jesus was God's son. He came to earth and performed many miracles and did wonderful things. Jesus taught people about God's love. Some people did not believe him. Those people nailed him to a cross. He died. But God raised him from the dead. Jesus is alive. The crowd was amazed at Peter's words. Many wanted to believe and follow Jesus. Peter told them they could ask and be forgiven. Jesus would save them. They must choose to love Jesus and act in ways of love and kindness. Then they could be baptized. Baptism is a sign that shows others that you love Jesus. Many people believed Peter's words. They were saved. They chose to be baptized in the water. I wonder what you would have done if you had been there. It was an exciting day. On this day, over 3,000 people believed and chose to follow Jesus. The good news of Jesus was beginning to spread quickly around the country.